Hello everyone. Today I am excited to share with you my tire temperature calculator. I explained to everyone in my previous video on how important tire temperatures are and how to analyze them to help guide you in building your race car setups. If you haven't watched that video, I suggest you check it out as it explains in more detail how this works. I have provided a link to the spreadsheet in the description below. You can download it on your laptop, PC, or your phone. Excel or Google Sheets will be required to open and edit the file. If you're using your smartphone, you can get a free version of it from the App Store. I've added those links for iOS in the description as well as the link to the tire temperature spreadsheet for your use. You'll want to capture or take a picture of your tire temperatures while on track and enter the values in the red boxes of the calculator. As you can see, the calculator tells you the average temperature of each tire, the average front, rear, right, left, and diagonal average temperatures. You can see I've already entered values for you to see how it works and to explain what it is telling you. The optimal temperature difference is the difference between the optimal operating tire temperature rating of 230 degrees compared to the corresponding side of the car. Here versus that one. I've entered values in the red boxes and it shows that the right front average is 225 degrees. The camber box tells us that we need to decrease the negative camber value. Whole numbers are equal to 0 0.10 or one click in the garage setting. The right front tire pressure needs to be decreased by 0 0.25 PSI. We can also see there the temperature average for front, rear, left, and right sides along with the cross average for comparison. Front, rear, right, and left. This will also help you determine if your weight distribution is correct and what areas of the car to focus on to get the best grip from your tires. While using this calculator is more informative to read the average values instead of the optimal temperature differences for comparison and diagnosis. The optimal averages are telling you how far out of range the average is from the optimal temperature of 230 degrees. By comparing the average temperature of all four tires, you can see which corner of the chassis is working harder than the other. By comparing the right front average to the right rear average, which would be right here to that one, you can tell if the chassis is loose or tight. The right front should be about 10 degrees hotter than the right rear. If it's higher, you're probably pushing. If it's lower, you're probably loose. It's also informative to compare right and left side and front and rear as well as diagonal averages. To see if you have the proper wedge, compare the right front tires, compare them to the front averages and the two right side averages. Your diagonal average should be five to 10 degrees cooler than both the front and right side averages. So we want to compare our right front to left front diagonal average, compare that to the front average and to the right side average. Your diagonal average should be five to 10 degrees cooler than both the front and right side averages. If it's warmer, you have too much cross weight. If it's cooler, then you need to cross, add some cross weight or wedge. Now down here below, We've got some more of the same information, just in a different format for you to see. The tire pressure boxes in orange are recommended changes in PSI. You may have to round up to the nearest 0.25 or 0.5 to get close. For example, this one here, the right rear tire pressure says we need to add 2.916666 PSI. So round that up just to three. Positive PSI numbers means needs more air. Negative numbers means he needs less air. For circle tracks, negative camber values on left side indicate decreased positive camber. Negative values for right front mean reduce negative camber. For road courses, negative camber numbers mean too much negative camber and positive camber numbers mean too little negative camber. The optimal camber is 10 degrees hotter on left edge versus right edge on some circle tracks. Road courses will require higher temperatures on the inside of the tires. Recommended camber adjustments are given in whole numbers and equates to 0 0.10 of adjustment. So if you currently have two degrees of camber and the app suggests one camber, you will want to increase it by 1.0, 0.10. 0 .10. 
This over here also tells us a lot of information that we just saw above, just in a little bit more detailed, compact little square here for us to look at. Now remember, positive numbers are front hotter understeer. Negative numbers are rear hotter, which is oversteer. Positive numbers are left hotter, and negative numbers are right hotter for left versus right. In diagonal, positive numbers are left to rear, right rear hotter, and negative numbers are right front to left rear hotter. Excessive front versus rear or left versus right data could be from static weight distribution. Excessive diagonal deltas could be from cross weight other than 50%. If you have any questions about reading the different averages and comparing them to diagnose setup issues, please watch my other video on tire temperatures. Thank you for watching, and if you found this helpful, please be sure to give a like and please subscribe for future content.